Come. I'm sure there are extraordinary things waiting. <laughs> What's all this? Are we the first to come in here? Oh, a tent! You're right. It looks untouched. Too sacred for them, maybe? Hey, do you know whose room it is? It is. It's Basilius's room. Just imagine. He was living here, playing here, sitting where you sit. Isn't that astonishing? Yes. And he loved tents, just like you. You love tents? Me too. He had a phoenix. Yes. Maybe he dreamt the same dream as you. Let's see what else he left us. Look at that. Hmm. They're people. Important ones, maybe? Prophets? Are there prophets in the order? They're villains. I think he shot at them with this ball here. Hmm, <laughs> makes sense. Boys. I like this game too. Come, we've barely started. So that was his bed. It's beautiful. This Basilius was treated like a king. Maybe he was a king. King Basilius. Look. That's a lovely horse. It's your size. Pretty sure he was your age. Yes. Wow. That's a warrior's room. Not just any warrior. Look at the shape of the armor. Toys. He was coming here to play with her. And she let him. She was the best kind of knight. I would have loved to meet them. What of it? It's a lady's armor. Oh, Aelia. This is her room, of course. She was his protector. Protector? The carrier's personal guard. Like me for Hugo. She looked strong. Sword and spears. Wow, look at the axe too. I wonder if they were put to use. They built this place to avoid it. The carrier draws attention. Valuable, tiny creatures. Look, wax tablets. They're carved. He drew her. And there, he drew himself with her. He loved her. It looks like they spent a lot of time together. Just like us. This is so strange. It is. Let's keep on. This is crazy. I feel like... like I know them. Like Basil could have been my friend. I know what you mean. Oh, look! Huh, that bird again. Its shape. It's the Order's symbol. The Phoenix is the Order. It's just that. Um, sorry, boy. But no! That explains why it stands above the child on their frescoes. They thought they were better than him. They didn't care about him. It doesn't change why we're here. Come, let's finish this first, right? Hmm. <laughs> Be damned. What's this now? An alchemy laboratory. Can we go back now? But it looks exactly like what you're searching for, no? Yes, but... No, you're right. Look for anything that could lead to an elixir. A, a potion, like books, drawings, maybe raw materials. On it. 
that? Oh, I don't even know what it's used for. Come on, give me something. There's nothing much. Oh. A phoenix. Look for a phoenix. What were they making in these things? Lord, give me something, please. This is all centuries old. What do you expect? Empty. No! What the hell? Hey! Quieter. We'll find something. Uh, sorry. Lucas would know. He would. Hugo, did you find something? This is all useless. Please, I need something. Um, I think the little one needs you, Amicia. Yes. An Athenor. <sighs> no. Whatever's been cooked in there is long gone. This place is crazy. Hey, something's wrong? I'm sure they hurt him too. Hey, I know things aren't turning out the way you expected, but... Nothing ever changes, Amicia. But Aelia wouldn't let them hurt him, right? You... You let for done? No! I... I tried to stop it, but... I, I know. You tried. Sorry. Hey, come here, you two. Sophia, where are you? Upstairs. How did you get there? Look behind the curtains. Come on, Hugo. What is this? No door. Some sort of uh, observation hallway? What have you found? Your alchemist library. Looks like they were observing the child from here. Like he was in a cage. What are those? Scrolls. Probably about Basidius. They're in Latin. Any mention of a cure? No, but they took other notes. We're right above the laboratory table. It's wrong. Imagine these bastards standing there, looking at him. We have to focus on what they learned. I may have a lead. 